three causes of depression and their three levels. But first, let's distinguish here between actual depression and temporary anxiety. Depression is like apathy. Everything is empty and seems hopeless. Characteristic of depression is that the affected person feels neither joy nor other feelings. Interest in social contacts, work and other activities dwindles. Attempts to encourage others remain ineffective. Even a positive experience does not improve mental well-being. Severe listlessness and fatigue are typical indicators. Everyday tasks are difficult, depressed people feel constantly mentally and physically exhausted. Daily life is also characterized by strong self-doubt and feelings of guilt, high need for sleep and low libido. Anxiety on the other hand, is stress, excessive worry, thinking in circles, panic attacks. First, causes of depression at the nutritional level. Depression results from a vitamin B3 deficiency, whereas anxiety results from a vitamin B1 deficiency. Vitamin B3 is better known as nicotinic acid or niacin. It plays a huge role in building various neurotransmitters like serotonin in your brain. Among other tasks, vitamin B3 is responsible for your protein, fat and carbohydrate metabolism, as well as promoting the formation of neurotransmitters in your brain. Good sources of niacin include beef, venison, calves' liver, eggs, peanuts, dates, whole grains, mushrooms, dairy products, brown rice, salmon, chickpeas, lentils and apricots, as well as buckwheat, herring and rabbit meat. Vitamin B1 is better known as thiamine. It is also known as anurine, antineuritic vitamin or antibarabara factor. If you do not supply your body with this important vitamin for 14 days, your body's reserves will be depleted by up to 50%. Vitamin B1 is found in both plant and animal foods such as, lamb, poultry, eggs, beef offal, peas, corn, walnuts, asparagus, potatoes, oatmeal, sunflower seeds, peanuts and muscle meat. This vitamin must be supplied daily, increased need is during pregnancy, alcohol consumption, stress and when taking birth control pills. Secondly, the cause of the development of depression at the physical level. A too high or too low blood sugar in possible combination with insulin resistance. As well as prediabetes and low serotonin and melatonin levels. Insulin helps move sugar to the brain. If you suffer from insulin resistance which means your cells reject insulin and don't let it in, fuel can't be transported into the cells and into your brain. As a result, your brain can't function properly. You'll learn what you can do about insulin resistance in the next episodes. Third, Scientific Causes of Depression Here, science sees genetic predisposition, emotional injuries and a disturbed neurotransmitter metabolism in the brain as the reason for its development. But there is another important cause, and you'll find out what it is in the next episodes. Thank you for tuning in. Music